Hey guys, how you doing? I am Chris and I am your dad next door. And today we're going to be talking about your OBS, Streamlabs, Stream Elements, streaming software that you're using for Twitch and how to create a nice clean camera design that doesn't take a fancy border around it. You can see right down here I have my game, my video window here and my game window here. These two designs I kind of came up with, a they call it a padding effect. And I've basically, I'm going to show you how to create that for your stream today. To give you a little background on why I'm trying to do that is if you take a look at my old, this was my old overlay. I was trying to find a way to clean this up. I was trying to find a way to make it look nicer. I mean, I had this camera border to kind of separate me from the game and kind of make it, you know, to where I was a little more visible on screen, but it was a little too clunky and a little too bulky for me. And same thing with that follow bar down at the bottom and the record and everything. It just, it just seemed like it was too much at the time. So I was trying to find a way to clean that up. And this was a new design that I came out with. I did a lot of playing around, a lot of researching, a lot of different YouTube, Google, all kinds of stuff on how to do different camera designs within this within Stream Elements, or this is uh, I'm using Streamlabs OBS, um, but within these systems in order to come up with something unique for yourself, and that wasn't just a cookie cutter border. So this is what I came up with. And for those that are wondering about what about your event, what about your event bar? I added in this event list right down below that kind of keeps everything clean, and it'll just run down as more people follow sub, and it, then it disappears after a certain timeout kind of thing, just to keep my stream clean, keep my window open so everybody can see what's going on in my stream. Um, so we're going to show you how to create this. It's actually a really simple effect. It's a really simple filter effect for your camera. And I'm going to, I'm going to give you a real quick lesson on how to do that. In order to get started with this, we're going to use an application called Inkscape. It's open source software that allows you to basically, uh, it's free. Right, so you can download it, and it's really good at creating vector images and different types of files that are high resolution graphic types. It's, I guess it would be in comparison to like an Adobe Illustrator or something, not as robust, but it does a lot of the same features, I would say. You know, anybody who's a graphic artist will tell you Illustrator or something is probably better, but this is just the free version, so I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So I'm gonna start out, I'm gonna go over to my desktop here, and I apologize for this. Um, infinity effect that I got going on here. So I'm going to jump over to live. So that way you're not looking at that. Um, basically, we are going to minimize out of Streamlabs and we're going to open up Inkscape. So within Inkscape here, we're going to do this for my camera, right? So my camera is 1080p, 1920 by 1080. So that's the way I'm going to set my sizing. But if you have a 720 or, you know, whatever size camera, 4K, whatever you're using, you want to make sure that the image fits that size so that way when you create your adjustment it allows you to apply that effect so first thing you know we're going to set our width right uh custom size we're going to go 1920 by 1080 and that's just going to adjust our that's just, ugh. that's going to adjust our oh i can't write 1080 there we go that's going to adjust our canvas size here and all we're going to do now background color black and we're going to make it totally opaque. So basically this, this top one is color. This bottom one is um, translucence or yeah, op alpha opacity, right? As it says. So we're going to make it black, right? So what this filter does on your camera is anything that's black gets cut off and anything that's white stays in. So just to make this really simple, I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to draw a star right in the middle of the image. Really simple, guys. I'm just kind of being real quick and creative with this. How do I rotate this guy? There we go. I'm going to rotate it just like that. Right. We wanted to make sure that it's kind of in as close to the middle as we can. I can actually do some. There we go. We'll snap it like that. There we go. We want to make sure we get it kind of close to center as we can. Basically, like I said, and you can draw any kind of design you want inside of this black box. So anything that's white won't be clipped. Anything that is will. So that's kind of the way you need to play with this. All I'm going to do now is I'm just going to export this as a PNG. Big file size. Uh, nope, I wanted to export my, I apologize. Inside of Inkscape, you want to make sure you export the page, not the drawing size. Let's try that again. We will replace it. There, that is completed. So now we're going to go, all we have to do is go back into OBS now. I'm going to take you into my editor, and you're going to see this big infinity window. Again, I apologize. I'm just going to create a new... Oh. I'm going to create a new scene, so it's totally blank. So the first thing I'm going to add here is my C920. Uh, go into new source, video capture device, just 
add in my camera so you guys can see me again. Hello, how are you? And we are going to just resize this real fast so that way it's just kind of on screen here. And then I'll go back and I will add my desktop so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, display capture. I'm just going to add existing source. Oh, drop that below the camera. Hello again. So now what we're going to do in here is we're going to go into this C920. All right, we're going to select it here, and I wish there was a way I could stop this infinity effect, but you guys are going to just have to cope with it for right now. We're going to click on the C920. We're going to go to Filters. You shouldn't have any on there yet. You may if you've done color correction or anything like that. I've set this up so that way it works better for my lighting in here. But we're going to add a new filter, Image Mask Slash Blend. All right, so this is where we were talking about before, how the that black and white gets applied. Um, alpha mask, you saw in the in Inkscape environment, right? Alpha was defined as the translucency or the opa opacity, right? So we're going to leave that on alpha mask. We're going to leave the colors white so it identifies that anything white stays, anything black gets faded out. We're going to go to browse. We're going to go to wherever we saved our star image at. And as soon as I apply that, it's going to kind of freeze for a second, you know, as it's thinking, right? You can see in here, my camera has now turned into the star image. And basically, whatever we had applied, whatever kind of design we wanted to draw, I like I showed you before, mine has that standard bevel kind of design. But here we go back to in-game, right? I've got my... Uh, I've got my star there. If I go back to my hanging out, right, it replaced my original full screen image. So that's kind of how you notice that it affected every camera. So if you apply a filter to the source, the original source, so if your video source, it ends up applying it to anything you use that video source in the future. So there's a little sneaky trick to get around that that involves creating some extra scenes. So that's what we're going to talk about here next. First step, I'm going to go in back into the source that we were using before. I'm going to remove uh, this blend just so it doesn't ruin all my settings here. And I'm actually going just to, let's see, how am I going to do this? I am going to just delete, let's go to hanging out. There we go. I'm going to just delete this new scene that I had created. Well, I'm trying to remove it. I don't know why it's going to it. Okay. There we go. Um, I deleted that scene that we just had on. Um, and we are going to go back to here. And you can see that I have a camera source, which drops me here. I need to stop clicking on things. Go back to this. Um, camera source and a camera placeholder. What happens is that the camera source holds just the C920 camera, or whatever your camera model is, or whatever you have your video source name to be. So it holds just the camera source. And then scene two holds scene one. And then scene three, whichever your actual overlay is, holds scene two. So I have camera source as C920, camera placeholder has camera source and then my in-game has my camera placeholder and then my filters are applied to camera placeholder and then if I want to create any additional styles of blends or filters or anything like that I can create an additional scene for like camera placeholder 2 or camera placeholder 3 or whatever else you want to name it and you can put additional filters against that so your original camera source never really changes. Now I haven't done any studies to see whether how I guess processor intensive this is but for me I haven't seen any experience glitches or uh, performance glitches or anything like that yet so it's been working really well for me and you can see it looks uh, to me it looks really good but compared to my original design so I think it's definitely something you should try out and my daughter is calling. Um, so you should definitely try that out. It's something unique. It's something different. It gives you a little personal flair to your stream. So if you like it, let me know. I am going to flip back over here and close out. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you finished it all the way through. I hope it was helpful for you. If it wasn't, tell me why. Tell me what you want to see. I'm going to continue to go through these different filters and these different options that are inside of Streamlabs here and try to figure out what we can have and what the best way we can create our own unique touches to our overlays. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe, thumbs up, give me comments, give me feedback. I want to know what you guys want to see so that way I can give you the best content that you're looking for. Other than that, if, you, if you're interested in coming and chatting with me live, come check out my Twitch. Uh, it's down here, and I'll also have a link for it in, my, in, the, uh, in the description of the video. I stream on Tuesdays from 7 to 11 plus Eastern Standard Time. You know, you always got to end on a win, so that way, you know, 11 o'clock rolls around and I haven't been on a win streak. I always got to ride it out till I finish it through. But other than that, I appreciate you watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was beneficial for you. If not... 
I apologize. Let me know how I can do better next time. Thanks, and have a good day.